Hello everyone and welcome to what is the 21st in the series uh, Japan Sustainability, Japan Times Sustainability Roundtable. Um, and uh, we've just finished the rainy season here in Japan. Um, it was a relatively short rainy season this year, but for anyone who has been in Japan during that season, you know that it is very easy to, if it starts rain, to jump into a convenience store and buy um, a plastic umbrella for 500 yen or 600 yen. And these are very sturdy, good umbrellas. But of course, uh, they're, I guess, a disposable um, umbrella. And so uh, they are the cause of quite a lot of uh, pollution. Many people uh, tend to leave them behind on the trains. Uh, and uh, so our guest today uh, has found a wonderful way to upcycle uh, these uh, umbrellas into uh, extremely uh, wonderful uh, products. And so it's uh, my pleasure to welcome uh, Aki Saito, who is the founder of Plasticity. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. A pleasure. A pleasure. Looking really forward to, uh, to talking uh, with you today about mm -hmm. uh, what you're doing. So first of all, tell us a little bit about um, Plasticity. How did you start and you know, what, what does Plasticity do? So Plasticity, we're a brand that takes um, discarded plastic umbrellas, once found you know, in train stations or just, uh, yeah, ones we know are going to waste. Right. And we collect those and turn them into bags. And this is mm -hmm. one of the bags that we have. And yes, that's what we do. <laughs> OK, so how long have you been doing this? Um, when did you decide to, to set up Plasticity? So Plasticity started as a project in 2019. Right. So that's two and a like half years yes. ago. Yeah. And uh, we officially started as a brand in 2020. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we've been doing this for, t yeah, around two years. Around two years. Yeah. That's great. So what, what do you think? Why did you come up? How did you come up with the idea mm -hmm. to um, create bags out of plastic umbrellas? Well, I had always wanted to um, make bags out of, okay, maybe not always. Um, so just to give a bit of background yeah. and context. Um, so after graduating from uni, uh, I was in England and I came back to Tokyo to work and there was a period after um, experiencing some work here I started to question you know how am I contributing like just questioning a lot of mm -hmm. things and there was that phase and I wanted to start exploring more of what my passion is and so I spent some time really just doing what I in like and for me, that was crafting. And mm -hmm. I would always spend time like doing DIYs at home and just.